Okay guys, let's get started and like always, prime your eyes. I'm using an unfocused camera. <laughs> Where are we at? Hmm, there we go. It's e.l.f. Uh, eyelid primer. And of course, all over your lid. A lid? All over your lid. And this video is probably going to be a little bit longer because instead of forwarding it, I'm going to talk you through it. And we all know that it takes a little bit longer, so go ahead and blend it, um, blend it around your eye from lash line all the way up to your brows. Make sure it's even. And let that set for just a second. Um, just so I can give you a heads up, I'm using a Coastal Scents. Uh, they are the Hot Pots. I'm using this pink color. And I believe this is Vibrant Pink. Yep, Vibrant Pink. Floor pink, whatever you want to call it. I lost it. I'll be right back. not lost anymore. This is the color. Um, all the rest of the colors we'll be using, um, with the exception of another Coastal Scents, which is this brown color, like a, a light brown. Those are the only colors that we'll be using that are not wet and wild. All right. The first thing you want to do is take whatever brush you use to do a uh, like a blending color. I'm using this uh, Micabella, it's a sort of fluffy angled brush. And the only reason why I'm doing this step right now is because I did it on the other eye. It didn't really do much, but you never know. This is, I don't know why it's not focusing. Huh. Okay, well this is Cool as Cucumber. Cool as a Cucumber by Wet n Wild. I'm using this crease color. It's like a eggplant kind of color on that brush. And we're going to do... A uh, transitional color, almost. It's going to be used somewhat as a transitional, mixed in with that brown color that I showed you. So just lightly, I mean obviously you don't want it to be purple purple, so just lightly put that up wherever your transition is going to be. And the transition is from the highlight color to whatever color you're going to put in your crease. So you kind of, almost like an ombre effect, you want it to be darker, a lighter color, lighter, and then your highlight. You don't want to just go straight from the same color unless you're going to take a long time to blend it out. So pretty much we're done with that um, trio. Then we're going to take... Uh, that brown color from Coastal Scent on the same brush, lightly again, it's a pretty warm color.
and just go over top of that. And it changes the color just a little bit. Yes. Okay. Now I'm going to uh, use this brush is just an art brush that I got at um, I think it was Michael's. It's a flat top. The level two artist brush called Artist Loft Grumbler. <laughs> I don't know. All right, then we're gonna take this one. It's called Knock on Wood. And we're going to take this brown color right here, lightly dab your brush to do it because it's very pigmented, and we're going to go right here in the bottom of that. You still want that transitional color to show, so keep it close to your crease. But you want it above your crease. And it's best to try not to, you know, go hard and dip it in there um, and get, you know, a lot of color on the first time. Like the first time you go over it, I would lightly just do layers. You don't want to mess up. It's really hard to take away dark colors than it is to keep adding. So, lightly just add layer and layer until you're until you're happy with it. Right there is good for me for now. Then this is the silent treatment. What's that? Lighting, I'm sorry. There you go. We are going to take the crease color, medium, or the middle, medium. Dark, 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 dark brown. Um, this actually has like gold flexes in it. But we're not using it for the gold flex, we're using it for the dark brown. This is a lip brush from e.l.f. I love to use this for a precise, more, more precise look. I'm going to take this color right at the bottom into my crease. You can do it right, like right above your crease, depending on how your eye shape is. Either in your crease, if you don't have much of a crease. Like if your eyes don't fold over, like mine do, mine have a really big fold. Okay, just to darken that up a little bit and then you can lightly bring it in once most of the product is off your brush. Okay, I know it sort of looks black right now, but it's, it's not, I promise. Again, layer it lightly. Because if you mess up, you're going to have to start all over again. If you want to go back with that brown color from the Knock on Wood Trio, and you can go over a little bit just to make it more brown again. Okay, now the next thing we're going to do with that knock on wood trio, the one with the uh, lighter brown, we're going to take this brow bone color, it is like a, um, what do you call that color, huh, like a mauve almost, lightly on that uh, brush that we use for the for the transitional color and we're going to use that color just to sort of brighten up that transitional that transition right there just use it lightly light-handed 
gives it a little bit more color right there. But still allow you to have that, you know, the brown color that we're going for. Okay. While we're working on this palette, um, I am going to take just like a, almost like a pencil brush. And in the silent treatment, the one with the dark, dark brown that we use, we're going to take the brow bone color. Should be just like a Sweet Lust um, by MAC. Take that and we're going to do the inner corner right now while we're on that palette. So just place it right there on your inner corner. Okay. While we're working with the shadows up there, this is Brulee by Wet n Wild Single Shadow on a eyeshadow brush by e.l.f. Place that above your brow bone and use that to blend your transition color even more. You want a nice smooth uh, transition with these colors. As you can probably tell, I've already done my makeup earlier. And I got a little bored and figured you guys might want to see this look. Okay, so if you can see it, let's see if I can go more focused. No, it doesn't want to focus up close, so. Alright, next jumbo pencil in Oyster is a pink that's not coming up on camera for some reason. I don't know why my camera is not focusing. Take that and put that on your, or whatever, um, any sort of base that you have for a pink that you use with pink. This makes the pink so vibrant and pop. Anytime you have a base to put underneath a bright color, use it. If you want it to be a bright color. If not, well, you just use it as it is. My brush in the wrong thing. Okay, so we're going with that vibrant pink that I showed you. That one again. On a flat brush. Pack it on the brush. Tap off the excess. And pat it on your eye. On your eyelid only. So far, so good. While we're here, curl your lashes. And... Um, Maybelline Line Stiletto Eyeliner. Liquid Eyeliner. Go ahead and do your eyeliner. However you choose. I'm going to go ahead and do a little wing. My eyeliner is almost gone. I'm going to go get a new one. Okay. 
Milani Liquify Eyeliner in black. And I'm also taking whatever black shadow I have the best, like the one that I love the most. And this is Wet n Wild. And Blue had me at Hello. And I'm using this to uh, set this Milani pencil. So go ahead and line your waterline. Try not to get it everywhere. I need to go back and touch up my resin. And I am taking a, this is a little brush that came in the, um, came with my Maybelline lines, Maybelline Eye Studio gel liner stuff that I don't use. So it's just really small. And go ahead and set that just right over the top of it. And the only reason why I'm doing this is my eyes water. My dog's playing with <laughs> my dog's playing with his toy. Um the only reason why I do that is my eyes water a lot, so it always messes up my eyeliner, but um, try to clean up a little bit here. Alright, so what we're going to do next is take a smudge brush, and again, drop it because I drop everything. You don't know how many times in videos that I make for you guys, I drop everything. Like, I have to skip it all the time. So we're going to take the Silent Treatment uh, Wet n Wild palette and take that dark brown shadow on that smudger brush carefully. It's really dark. And smudge it right underneath the eye. Then I take the same brush and I use that uh, mauve color in the Knock on Wood palette and lightly put that underneath it, right underneath it. Another thing you want to do is line your top lashes. Line your top lashes. Line your your tight lining or your top water line, whatever you want to call it. Next thing you want to do is your mascara. And my favorite CoverGirl lash blast, the orange one. That's just a shadow or not. I don't know. It's starting to get dark. Um, so that's it. That's the final look. And of course, my camera doesn't want to focus. Um, I've already done my makeup earlier, but it's like kind of. 
crappy looking right now. This side's all worn out. I just wiped, washed off that side. Um, but that's the look. Let me know if you guys like it. And if there's any videos that you guys want to see, um, any specific videos, sorry, specific videos, specific colors, um, let me know and I will get this up for you. So I will see you guys next time. Bye.